We want to avoid common troughs in the ACT science section since we have to answer 40 questions in only 35 minutes. With this question from Grocket, there are actually over 1,600 questions in our ACT game engine. With this particular question, it's a great reminder that when we look at the keywords in the question, we can skip over a lot of the unnecessary information and make sure we're looking at the correct chart, table, or graph. It says here, if the samples in activity three were run at a wavelength of 400 nm as nanometers, the transmittance would most likely be closest to, and looking at the information we are provided, we have some background information, activity one, activity two, and it's activity three that we want to focus on because that's what's in the question step. So the value we're looking for is 400 nanometers, and taking a look at our chart, we have 350 and we have 450. So halfway in between is going to be between 55 and 65. Exactly halfway between 55 and 65 is 60. We confirm our answer and we're 100% correct. If you're not sure what your current ACT science skill level is, you can come over to Grocket and in less than 15 minutes, you can take a diagnostic and we'll be able to tell you exactly what your projected score is, as well as what activities you should do next to raise your score as efficiently as possible. You can participate in group practice or solo practice and you can create custom games. We hope to see you soon.